Welcome back to my channel, it's Drika. So y'all, I've been getting a lot of comments and I'm almost at 7,000 techies. We're literally five techies away to 7,000. So I thought it would be a great idea to do another Q&A. So if you're interested, make sure you keep on watching. So the first question is, are you working at a hospital or like a store? So I am working at an inpatient hospital. I am a PRN at Walmart Pharmacy, but my full-time job is a hospital. All right, so another techie said, hey, I miss you, been working hard, I see. And one techie said, you look tired, Drika. Me too. Like these 533 shifts are kicking my butt. And then trying to go home and be productive is so hard because I'd be falling asleep. I'd be wanting to go to the gym. I'd be wanting to record a video. on, And then I'm about to take biology and math and ASL at the same time, y'all. Another techie is asking, did you learn to do IV drips at the job? Yes. So when I first worked into the hospital, I got hired in the hospital. I was first in the IV room for about, I want to say two weeks it was. I was um, training IVs. And yeah, so they taught me everything about IVs, drips, insulins, all that. I didn't have no experience. I literally learned the first week I was there in the hospital. All right, so another techie says, what do you suggest to relearn while coming from retail to a hospital? I would suggest learning some math, some basic how to solve for MLs because when I applied to the hospital job I'm working at now, my manager gave me a math test. It's like five questions, basically solving for MLs. Um, and that's about it. Like I did, I did read a pharmacy type book going over like the pixels machines, IVs, how many inches you have to be inside the hood when you make an IV, stuff like that. But mainly I would focus on like how to solve for MLs because that's one thing that my manager wanted me to know before even getting hired. All right, so the next question is, are you there alone at the pharmacy? So I am not. There's about five of us there in the morning, I believe. So it's the OR tech, the window tech, um, the IV tech too, I forgot. Um, the technician that is chemo and then there's a tech that puts up the order and then there's the buyer so there's a lot of us there but I guess because of the videos you guys see me in is the OR tech I'm using by myself and that's only because I'm checking out the pixels machine around the farm around the hospital but when I'm in the pharmacy there's like a bunch of us so yeah I'm not alone <laughs> So this next comment, this techie said, lovely video. I work retail and I'm trying to branch out. I want to know how's workflow and schedule. Do you get breaks? How many breaks and how long? How's the vibe? Are people on your back? Are looking over your shoulders? Do you have coworkers? I love this question. There's so many questions, but they're all great questions. So the workflow is I have rotating shifts. So you're either OR tech, which is 5.30 to 3.00, your IVs, which is 7 to 3.30, or your window tech, 7 to 3.30, or your chemo tech, which is 9 to 5.30, um, and then there is a technician that puts up the order, which is 10 to 6.30, and there's also an evening tech, which is 3 to 11.30, and then you have your night techs, which either 7 to 7 or 9 to 7, um, but yeah, those are the schedules. Workflow is we all rotate, which I love. So you, every week, it depends on the week. You're either like all window or you're all IVs or you're all like ORs or you're like mismatch your OR this day, your IVs the next day. It really just depends on where the manager needs you at. So do we get breaks? So no, I wouldn't say we get breaks. Like if we're all caught up and we have everything done, you can, you know, get something to eat, a little snack, but our manager doesn't like really sitting us sit down, you know, sitting down in the break room, he doesn't like us doing. Like if we're sitting on the computer doing some training, then yeah, I guess you can consider that a break, but we don't really take breaks. There's no 15 minute breaks before your lunch or 15 minute break after your lunch, like retail, we have, no breaks at all but if you're caught up and nothing to do you can take a break or really you can help another techie because everyone needs help the hospital stays busy but our lunch breaks are 30 minutes we only get 30 minutes there's no hour just 30 minute lunch break and that's it
how's the vibe oh my gosh so i said the vibe is good of course you're gonna have a little drama like y'all my pharmacy has all girl pharmacy technicians there's no male pharmacy technicians so you would understand how that is um i wish we had a male pharmacy technician you know just to help even it out a little bit i don't know but i would say the vibe is great we all get along we all help each other out um if you have a problem you know we're adults we handle it in an adult way we don't go how to tell to our manager at least not all of us but the vibes are really great we get along with the pharmacists we always have like little i want to get together it's like we're going to do pharmacy week and we have like little games that we're going to do for pharmacy week and we have t-shirts so i know we're like a big family in that pharmacy all right so our people on your back are looking over your shoulders so i would say no like if you're training or in training then yes of course you have your trainer following you around making sure you're doing everything correctly and you know there to help you out with any questions but besides that no no one's watching over me the pharmacist the manager like and then do i have co-workers yes i have lots of co-workers our pharmacy is full of people i feel like our pharmacy is way too small for how many people is in the, the pharmacy but yes i have lots of co-workers all right, and the next question is, is IV certification mandatory for hospital farming te technicians in Texas? I'm sorry, I can't answer this question because I have to look it up, but in South Carolina, no, we do not have to have IV certification um, at all. Like, I feel like it's really a waste in, it's a waste to have in um, South Carolina because you don't get paid extra for it or anything. It's just or certificate a piece of paper so that's why i never went and got it but in texas i will find out and i will put it in the description down below for you okay another question is what skills does a pharmacy technician need then she also adds can you tell us how to get iv or sterile compounding certification so for that you just have to go on ptcb and apply for it um and you do have to take a test you do have to pay for the exam it's just like the ptcb you have to study for it pay for the exam and take the exam and you'll get your certification um what skills does a pharmacy technician need um depending on what where you want to work at like retail i don't know i feel like I don't, you don't need no skills just 